Hey, it's Matt the Old Florida Boy. It's nice summer weather. It's nice and warm. You know, we got the pool, we got the deck, we got everything out. So here's the situation. You and your boys on a weekend, one of your boys calls you up and says, Hey Matt, I got a cooler full of shrimp, or I got a cooler full of crawfish, or I got some lobster. Let's have a barbecue. All right, bring the girls, bring all the rest of the boys, bring all the beer. I got the pool, I got the deck, I got the pergola with the bar, everything else. But, uh-oh, I don't have a way to cook the shrimp or the crawfish or the lobster. What am I going to do? You need a big old pot and a lot of water. You ain't going to put that on your stove inside or your wife is not going to be happy with you. So, here's how to keep the wife happy. We're going to build a quick and inexpensive rocket stove. Uh, and I'm going to put a card right up there because I, I, I did this before. Uh, but I want to I revisit this video for some of my newer subscribers and some of my newer viewers. So, here's how to do it. Stay tuned. All right, first of all, you gotta come over to the pile of bricks that's in your backyard. And trust me, everyone has a pile of bricks in their backyard. Don't tell me you don't, because if you tell me you don't have a pile of bricks, you're lying. These are just ordinary red bricks, the kind you get at the store, the kind that they pave roads with, everything else. is ordinary red bricks. You need 28 to 32 red bricks. So, get them red bricks and follow me. All right. After you get your 28 to 32 red bricks and you pile them up over on your patio, and we got to hurry because the boys are coming over with the pot. <laughs> All right, now we got a little outline. Here's what we're going to do, okay? Some people say you have to uh, use a half a brick. I'm going to show you how to do this without cutting any bricks, and this goes up in just seconds. So, what you need is need your 28 to 32 bricks and you need a hunk of wire. I don't know if you can see this too good, but this is just ordinary half inch hardware cloth and it's got a, it's got a corner out of it. It don't matter. It's about a 12 by 12 piece of wire. We're going to use that. So here's how you do it without cutting any bricks. First of all, you set your first two bricks, which are pretty important, end to end, just like that. Okay. Now, your next two bricks are going to come in at about the halfway point of the first two bricks. Okay. And it don't matter if they're dirty or not, okay? That's about the halfway point. Now, what you want is, you want this to be about as wide as one brick, just to cover the opening. You know, just to barely cover the opening, okay? So, that is your foundation, all right? I don't know if you can see that too good. I got a shadow coming out now. So now, here's where the wire comes in. We'll put the wire on just like that so it covers this opening okay now doesn't matter which side you start on put that first brick over like that because that's what holds all the stuff from your fire okay now you're gonna alternate the joints there's that brick there's that brick And there's that brick. Square it up all nice. Because you want it to look good for the boys when they come over. Because you can't do this later because, trust me, you're going to be drinking around the pot. Because that's what happens around the pot. Now, see how we have the joints? All we're going to do is fill this up and we're going to stagger the joints. So, I'm going to back this off and show you how we do this. y'all look at that we got a rocket stove now all of the fuel just goes straight in the middle of the hole the air is pulled from underneath 
and it shoots the flame out the top like a rocket. And once it gets going, there's no smoke at all. So when you're ready to cook, just get yourself another couple of bricks, set the pot on it, okay? You gotta have a little air space for the flame to come up. And the pot's gonna go on there. And man, you got some cooking to do. And your house ain't gonna smell, your wife ain't gonna be mad. So let's light this thing up, see how it looks. All right, once you get it going and it gets caught, you know, you can see, you can see the flame coming out of the top. This thing is sucking in air from the bottom here and pulling it and just totally aerating all that. So now all you're gonna do is load it up with some sticks. When the boys get over with the pot, whoo hoo! And that is gonna go, whoo man. It'll smoke until the wood gets caught and then it'll totally fire up. Smoking a little now. Okay, so today we learned just how quick and easy it is to make a quick rocket stove that is going now and it's ready for the pot. Now you don't gotta waste all your electricity, you don't gotta smell up the house, you don't gotta mess up the stove, you keep your wife happy, and let's go jump in the pool and enjoy ourselves on this nice sunny day. So, once again, on the left hand side of the screen you're gonna see some suggested videos. In the upper right hand corner you're gonna see my subscription box. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I answer all questions and comments. And once again, this is Matt, the old Florida boy, coming to you from my backyard saying, I'll see you on the trail.